WWE talent believes that the Vince McMahon era of a double standard is back with The Rock. WWE talent hate The Rock. WWE talent saying, F The Rock. Enter the arena band, club, new Genesis Entertainment, Frozen. Let's not waste any time. Let's get straight into it. E Wrestling News report. WWE superstars feel Vincent Kennedy McMahon era of a double standard is back with The Rock. This is deep right here. This is deep. This is what the WWE talent is saying. They got a voice, Rock. You can't silence the majority. As we previously reported here on EWN, several WWE superstars are frustrated with Dwayne The Rock Johnson enjoying special privileges for his promos that they do not have. Some people can curse better than The Rock. Some people can talk better than The Rock, but they're told by verbatim when they get that script in hand. I was looking for a piece of paper. When they get that script in hand, when they get that script in hand, the WWE writers, they tell them that they have to say exactly what's on that script or they can be fined, they can be buried, de-pushed, they can lose their spot, they can lose airtime, they can be suspended or even Fire, but Rock can go out on Instagram and he can go out on Twitter and he can use as much profanity as he wants saying F Cody Rhodes' mother and come on. Dave Mesker of the Wrestling Observer Newsletter has shared some new details regarding the perceived double standard for The Rock and The Rock promos. The Rock stardom and position on the TKO board of director gives him more leeway than any other talent in the world on the roster, particularly for the length and the content of his promos. He can go as long as he wants. You could call Brian Gerwitz as much as you want because he's his lead writer. That's not going to change anything. In fact, Brian Gerwitz said that he went 30 seconds below the time. One talent noted that The Rock, does what he wants, and no one can tell him otherwise. And this is not coming from Don Juan Banks. The Great One also has a team of representatives that huddle any issues that might arise. The Rock has been openly cussing on social media with his promo since returning to the company on the road to WrestleMania 40. The, this resulted in Cody Rhodes cutting an expletive Layton promo on Monday's episode of WWE Raw. According to the report, one person noted that there was a feeling that the era of Vince McMahon double standards for has handpicked stars and for everyone else was over. And then The Rock shows up and is exactly the same. Mesker also revealed Fox tactics for censoring The Rock on air. He said, so the deal with the TV, what they had to do was Fox gets the script ahead of time. Let me finish this because I got something to say. So they know when to press the beat before The Rock curses. The Rock promo is completely scripted. But if any, but if it was anyone else, they would not be allowed to say it. With The Rock, it's like he can say whatever he wants. But we know what he's going to say and when he's going to say it. So anything they want to bleep out, they will bleep out. And they know when to bleep it out because they know ahead of time. So that's kind of the gist of the promo and why certain things were beeped out. The Rock will make his WWE in-ring return at WrestleMania 40 night one, where he will team with Roman Reigns to face off against Seth Rollins and Cody Rhodes. So they basically reveal that it's all scripted. Fox gets the script before The Rock goes out there. And you know Rock likes to go off script. So although the Fox executives have, you know, the manuscript of what Rock mainly is going to say in the promos so they can have their button 
their hand on the button and they might not even press the button sometimes because they want the ratings. You know, you got little kids out there. They hit a rock says a curse word. They are like, whoa, they're telling their friends about it. There's more ratings. They're buying the rock toys. They the rock video games, rock merchandise. He looks unstoppable and unbeatable. He holds everybody down. Cody Rhodes is 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 an example of that. I'm an example of that. You you think for one second that Rock agrees with with Don Juan Banks is saying me and the Rock used to be cool, but we're no longer because Rock Rock is an ego maniac. He is a man that just believes whatever he says is gold. That's why he got canceled from DC Universe. Black Adam. He told them what he wanted and what demands was going to be met on his behalf. When the the, the financial totals came back, they said for a man to destroy everything in this movie, skip over Shazam, wants to go face-to-face with Superman. Then we hear the guy Superman got fired from DC. Then they had to get rid of The Rock, and he got canceled. He came back to WWE because it was an actor guild strike. We find out that he's no longer the man that he used to be. He's not even the man he was 10 years ago. I don't even think Rock is the man he was five years ago. Why? Allegedly, it could be testosterone replacement therapy. It could have been steroids. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger had to actually have um, triple bypass surgery when he was around 50 years old because of the steroids he used. When you get 51 years old, if you've been doing testosterone replacement therapy or steroids, allegedly, your body doesn't take well to it. Rock has a um, bodybuilder type body now. He doesn't have a like the type of athletic wrestling ability body that he used to have. So he's got two rings. He's training at these rings and he's being very careful because he got a lot of money on the line. He's a TKO board of director and it was a $30 million deal. He brought in his team of representatives, Brian Gerwitz. He's cool with Aaron Manuel, Nick Khan, everybody. He gets whatever he wants um, in terms of the talent. In the past, Rock stood up for talent. In the past, Rock was a, 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 a backstage locker room guy. This time they say Rock gets off his private jets. He goes into his, man, they can say like, this room is so big, you know, um, his private jet dressing room, his representatives is in there. He got everything, food, water, everything set up. He meets with Roman. He meets with Solo. He meets with the bloodline. He might meet with Cody. He might meet with uh, Seth. And he basically, this is how it's going to go. And they're just shaking their head like, yes, yes, yes. But Cody Rhodes is looking at this and like, man, this man is talking about my mom. He's burying me, talking about my fans are crybabies. Cody Rhodes handled his his fans appropriately. In fact, I even teamed up with him because he's a great guy. You know, at the end of the day, I had to accept him for what he was, a great wrestler. And he's been given great promos. And there are there are honest fans. Crybaby fans are just fans out there that want to dictate, be smart marks, and control the narrative. Rock has went in business for himself. Even Triple H has said that Triple H has a storyline with him, but he's even backed off because Triple H is dealing with this scandal of the sexual assault and sexual rape, allegedly, of Janelle Grant and other women and the whole Ashley Mazzario thing. So Triple H is in the back. He's not really doing the storyline that he wanted to do with The Rock at this point in time, especially with two weeks remaining for WrestleMania. He may make an appearance and talk about it. There is a double standard with The Rock, but like I said in a a video before, and I know Rock is going to like this part that I'm about to say, he is still The Rock. The Rock has generated billions of dollars in the movie industry, and although his career might not be exactly where he wanted at this point, he's still a high-paid actor. He's not the highest-paid actor. He's not the best action star, but he's still up there in the top five, and He's coming back to WWE. He didn't dig his feet into this the way that he should have. He did put more dates on SmackDown. That's great. I heard he's going to be on Raw, so he's listening. And I think that what's going to happen is Rock has to come to the conclusion that, okay, he's a heel. 
They're cheering him now. He turns face. They're going to boo him. They know what he's going to do before he does it. He has to be authentic. He has to be real. The 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 promos with the profanity, bringing the attitude era back, and even going past that, the man had to get over. If you watch one of my videos, I even say that The Rock wasn't over. He wasn't. Is The Rock over now? Yes, he is. Okay, Rock is over. I think Rock has proven his point. He, he he proved the point that he's the rock and he's going to do whatever he wants to do when he wants to do it. He doesn't care about the way anybody thinks. If you want the rock on your programming, which he believes he is the best and the highest uh, WWE superstar of all time, he's going to do what he wants when he wants. And he doesn't care about any reports. He's still going to do what he wants. He, he can be very selfish. He can be very demanding. He doesn't care. And if he finds out whoever said the talent that said that it's a double standard or they hate him, they're done. They're going to get deep pushed. They're going to get squashed. That's the end of their career. And they but not, he but not find this anybody off the bloodline saying that because then their career is over. Rock is on the TKO board of directors, and he said it in one of his promos, meaning I am your boss. And to the fans out there that – are revealing like myself was really going on in the WWE. Rock was all cool with me when I came on and I did the crybabies thing. But the moment that I pointed out that he got canceled from DC Universe, the moment that I pointed out that Young Rock got canceled, the moment that I pointed out that he's 51 years old, the moment that I pointed out where Cody Rhodes said his mistake was his two daughters, if you're talking about the age gap. When I pointed out the Rock can come off to be selfish self and doesn't care about anybody that's when rock said this jabroni doing videos in his mother's basement is a piece of garbage don juan is a piece of garbage but you should have said rock don juan i respect what you're doing i don't get a dime off of this there's no commercials no ads no nothing give credit where credit is due rock right now rock roman win night one of the tag team match with Seth and Cody. Night two, bloodline rules. Everything's going to hit the fan. Anything that you thought of, you're going to have to think again. The big question that everybody's asking right now is, will Rock come out and help Roman or Rhodes? He's going to come out. He's going to turn against Roman Reigns. Now they can change it to him helping Roman Reigns. It's one of the toughest decisions The Rock had to ever make in his life because the way that this thing goes down is if he helps Cody, the fans are cheering for him, but his help, depending on where it comes in at, in the match, now, you got to really listen to what I'm saying here. I wanted to show you all this video while we're live. And Rock, please, if y'all see this, because it was a fan and he gave the most eloquent comment that I've ever heard. And I want to let y'all know this while we're live. It got 2.1K. The Rock, WWE talent hate The Rock. I put the video up two, three times before it could get to people because they bury me. WWE buries Don Juan Banks because Don Juan Banks has the talent to go live and say what the WWE superstars and what people are really feeling. I guess you can't do that no more these days because everybody has to have their podcast they have to have a pie and eat it too, but they don't want none of the wrestling people to be able to have a voice and speak. They took out everybody. It's just me, the generational leader of the YWC, the mayor, the monarch, the governor, the dictator, the writer, director, producer, entertainer, facilitator, inventor, teacher, the architect, 100% simply the realest and the best wrestling back. In business, Mr. Pay-Per-View, the multi-100 million dollar man. The one, the only, Mr. YouTube, the best 
analyst covering professional wrestling today, Don Juan Banks. And I'm looking at some of the comments from this video. Tubler08, bruh, you're a grown man. If it pisses you off so much, just don't watch. He's being a Vince McMahon and you liked him. You should have been pissed at Vince it well. Well, first of all, I already released videos on Vince McMahon. And and so this one, Davey Lariat. I gotta take these off for a second. David Lariat. D-A-V-E-Y Lariat. Rocky can do whatever anytime. It said that it took a part-timer to bring some unfiltered flavor to the show. You know what? See, I wanted to talk about that real quick. The profanity. It's, Rock is bringing that element, attitude, Eric back to wrestling. Him and Triple H getting the signs back in the arena, getting the crowd really going, making people believe in what, what they're doing. Don Juan Banks never said any problem with that. It's just that when you're doing it and you're not allowing someone to speak back or you're pushing other people down, that's when it's bad. When you're cutting a promo and you go over time and then wrestlers and and that, that and, and divas that got to pay their bills and they match get cut off short, that's selfishness. And if, if all these, it says people just blind... This is basically a Stone Cold HBK and Mike Tyson scenario. The Rock is going to help Cody and The Rock been cussing since day one. And that is KRLM2280. There's so many comments in this video. And it was somebody who left just Anthony Ifini. Ichuku2277 Rock is overhyped. I hate him to the core. Enter the arena band club, New Jersey. I'm still looking for that comment. But y'all heard what I said about The Rock. The Rock is going to curse. He's going to do whatever he wants. And he he did not commit himself to returning in the WWE. I think that he took on more than he could chew. I know he needed the money, so he took the thirty million. Because y'all might look at it like Rock is rich. He don't need to take any more money. He's okay. Thanks. No, when you when you're a Hollywood star like The Rock, and you make a certain amount of money, and then they had the actors strike, and even with his residuals from WWE and all of his movies. And that money is not looking the way that you like it because y'all not thinking like a lot of these people in Hollywood, they live very expensive, extravagant lifestyles that require a lot of money. So Rock is not interested in having conversations with talent in the back about if I was just reading another comment. It's tube. It's tube. New 08. He left some real good comments. And it was a real good comment. And I can't find it. But do I feel the Rock is saving WrestleMania? How is he saving WrestleMania in a tag match? And if he helps Cody, he's going to overshadow it. It de- just depends on when he comes into that match. He has to come in that match at a certain time to drive the bloodline back. And I feel like if he does that and he drives the bloodline back and he doesn't hit Roman with the rock bottom or the people's elbow, that's the deciding factor if Cody wins, then he can come out, help Cody Rose in a way where he doesn't overshadow Cody Rose. That's the point. Just if he doesn't overshadow Cody Rose, he will be able to go back to Hollywood stronger. And I think that the WWE talent do hate The Rock. But Rock is going to have to do what he got to do, regardless of how they feel. And as we, the WWE fans, we don't like 
him taking up all the time stopping wrestlers who were going to have promos or matches cut short or taken off entirely because that's showing that The Rock is selfish regardless. We already know Rock is going to help Cody Rhodes. We just want him to do it in a way where he's not overshadowing him, leaving WWE in a good position because he's leaving WWE after WrestleMania. He's going to film from May to August. So we don't have much more of The Rock to go. Maybe some appearances while he's filming. When he leaves, they said there can be no physicality, meaning that he can't get in the ring. The most he could do is make appearances, cut a promo, that's it. Since Rock is Hill, Rock is going to continue to be Rock. But at WrestleMania, Rock has to do this in such a way that he leaves Cody Rhodes strong and that he's promoting his match against Roman. I'm going to say what I want to say about The Rock because nobody's going to remember anything that we're saying right now because after WrestleMania, the whole narrative is going to be different. I'm just hoping that The Rock, he, it was a lot, he had a lot of backlash about Cody going against Roman. Now the fact that he knows he made the right decision with that, he has to look strong in a tag team match. This is his first time being back in a long time in the ring. He can't get injured. He do have to look good. Rey Mysterio, 49 years old, he's 51. long as he don't do it on a consistent basis, so he's not going to look like Chris Jericho. He's going to look good if he can if he can still do it. But if he messes up, he botches, he gets injured, it's going to destroy his Hollywood career too because they're going to be like, man, you went back in here delivering promos that were scripted and trying to win an Emmy and controlling the audience, using profanity. You did all this stuff. You got in the ring. You look like a, a horse's ass. And then on top of that, if he makes one mistake, if he doesn't do this thing right, it's going to affect The Rock. Do I believe that Roman Reigns should leave WrestleMania as a champion? You know what I'm going to say? Roman already went out. If you if you really go and do hard investigating about what Roman Reigns say, Roman Reigns says he needs time off, basically. So that indicates that he is dropping the belt at WrestleMania 40. Cody Rhodes is backed into a corner because The Rock said... If he doesn't finish the story, he's never going to get a chance again. That means he revealed, and we got videos up, that Roman will beat Cody Rhodes. Now, always they can have a last-minute decision, but this thing is coming down to the wire where Rock really has to make the right choice in the next two weeks, and that's going to define the rest of his career. Because Just because he's 51 years old, and 51 years old, while you are getting older, okay? But Rock is showing you that he's in great shape and that uh, depending on how your schedule is, you can get some matches in here. His, he's not dead yet. He, he, he got his 50s, the 60. You think that Rock want to be looked at as a joke because of making bad decisions? If Rock doesn't get this under control and in the right way, he's going to have more than just the WWE talent hating him. He's going to get rejected by Hollywood and they're going to hate him too.